Hello everyone, my name is Chris and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial about how to stabilize your skate footage using Premiere Pro CS6. Um, I find a lot of times, you know, I film a lot and I find that even though I use a filmer board and a cam caddy that when I review the footage, you know, you can't help but hit some bumps and cracks and um, some of your footage ends up a little shaky. So. This is what I've found as the best way to fix that. You're going to open Premiere Pro CS6. Um, wait, wait for it to load here. And I think that um, Warp Stabilizer is on a couple other versions. You'll have to check and see. Maybe CS5 has it, maybe not. But if you have CS6 or any other um, version that has Warp Stabilizer, this will work. Um, so I'm going to open a new project. Um, I'll call it tutorial click OK and you're going to choose your settings for which you um, you know film this this clip that you want to stabilize I usually shoot in 720 60 frames per second so I'm going to go ahead choose that setting click OK from here you're going to go to import and import your shaky skate clip I already know which one it is it's this one here so I'm going to import it then from here, from your project media, you're going to drag your clip into the composition area. That's what this panel is called. And an important thing here, well not important, you can do this if you want, you don't have to. But when you use, we're going to be using an effect called Warp Stabilizer. And when you put that effect on a clip, it stabilizes every single frame in that clip. So when you're shooting at 60 frames a second and you have, you know, a 17 second clip, that's a lot of frames. So what I like to do in the very beginning is trim the section that you're going to use because, you know, all this is just kind of rolling up and we don't need that. So I'm going to trim the beginning down. I'm also going to go through here, figure out when he lands. And you can see here this, this little end section is kind of some bull crap. We don't need any of that. So I'll find the part that I want to be the end of this clip, we'll say about there, and I'm going to trim that down as well. Move this to the front. So I'm going to play the clip right here and you can see how shaky it is. You can pick out the little bumps. I think right in between um, these two tricks I hit a little crack and you can kind of see for yourself how shaky this is. So there you go. I like to think of myself as, a, as a, uh, a decent filmer, but you know, you can't avoid some of the shakiness there. Um, so from here, what we're going to do is go into the effects section. Um, you can type in warp and it'll help you find your warp stabilizer. You're going to click and drag that effect onto the video part of your clip. And then you'll see up in here in this section, it's analyzing every single frame, like I said. And you're going to want to wait till it does that. Depending on how long your clip is, this won't take, you know, more than a minute or two. But basically, you're going to wait for that to analyze. Okay, so I've stabilized the whole clip. I skipped ahead because I didn't feel like waiting. After this, I'm going to render the entire um, composition to show you um, exactly what the warp stabilizer effect is now done. And when you render it, it makes it a lot less choppy. So. You can see here, very, very smooth, pretty much no shakes whatsoever. But if you notice, and this is the part that bugs me, is when you put this warp stabilizer effect on, it automatically chooses how much um, it stabilizes the clip. And you get kind of this zoom, um, weird uh, sort of effect, and it makes it look a little unrealistic, like it's very smooth, but it's almost not realistic because it just it zooms in and it gets this weird sort of effect to it and you can change that and still get the stabilized effect without all of that extra weird zoom motion in your clip so you go into your effect controls here and you see the smoothness um, option here it's at 50 percent by default I like to bring it all the way down to 10 and what it's going to do is stabilize each frame again 
And another thing that I do is I go to the advanced tab and here where it says crop less, smooth more, I also bring that one down to 10. So that way it doesn't do so much of a, a zoom, zoomy, weird, unrealistic um, sort of thing. I'm also going to render this so you can see it when it's not as choppy. Let's wait for this to render here. So here's the clip after I've adjusted the stabilization part of this. So I'll tell you what I'll do also. I'm going to import the original clip just to show you the difference. Um, oh, well, I didn't have to do that. I could have just taken the same exact clip. So I'll start it from here, trim this up. So I'm going to move them, put the original in front, and then put the warped version after. So here's the original version. You can see a little bit of shake about there. Looks okay, but here's the edited version. You can see that that little part in the middle of the two tricks is now gone, and it's very, very smooth. And by the end of it, you should have a very um, stable clip and you can do this to as many clips as you want and um, hopefully it makes your all skate footage better um, thanks for watching uh, definitely feel free to comment and subscribe because I'm going to be making more of these tutorial videos and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it